Galileo 5. Yes, sir. Just the name. Galileo 5. You can feel the adventure. Yes, indeed. NASA's great at naming things. They are. Mercury, Apollo, Atlantis, the sea of tranquility, the ocean of storms. Good names. First time I heard Galileo 5, the way the imagination immediately, it reminded me of the way folks in my generation felt when we heard yellow submarine. Okay. We really did all want to live in a yellow submarine. I can't believe they gave you people driver's licenses. Tell me where we're going again. Mars briefing rehearsal. Why? To rehearse. Say the name. I said the name. Say it again. Your imagination like a child will explode with unrestrained possibilities for adventure. Galileo 5. You didn't say it right. I said it fine. And say it again. Who wrote this intro? I did. You're from NASA Public Affairs? Yeah. You mind if I give it a polish? Is there a problem? No, it's great. You mind if I change it? I'd prefer if you didn't. Just the same. The public Affairs has cleared the text. If it's going to be changed, I'd prefer if the president changed it. See, that's kind of what he pays me to do, so. <laughs> Look, I kind of want to step on your toes. You don't want to step on mine. We're both writers. Yes, I suppose, if we broaden the definition to those who can spell. Excuse me? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. President. Sir, this is the crew from NASA Public Affairs. How you doing? Sir, we're going to run you through the drill for tomorrow morning. First of all, you'll be flanked on either side by the Flight Operations Manager, David Narakawa, and NASA Chief Administrator, Dr. Peter Jobson. On either side of them will be Dr. Samuel Thurman of the Meteorite Analysis Team from the Johnson Space Center and Dr. Joyce Gray Sutton, Planetary Geologist from Cal State Northridge. On these monitors, you'll be seeing the images beam back from the surface. And on this computer screen, you'll be able to read the questions being sent in by the kids. I strongly urge you, yes. I strongly urge you, I, I strongly urge you, Mr. President, to act as moderator and pass the questions off to one of the experts on the panel rather than answer it yourself. Yes. Would you like to see some of the questions? We have questions in advance. Some of them. Would you put them up? Sure. Oh. Katie, sixth grader, Green Oaks, junior high school, Austin, Texas, asked, how old is the planet Mars? That's a great question, Katie. The planet Mars is 4.6 billion years old. What did I just say? I knew that one. Nobody likes a know-it-all. Yes, God forbid that while talking to 60,000 public school students, the president should appear smart. That's fine. Just don't show off. I don't show off. Stevie, fourth grader, PS31, Manhattan, asked, what is the temperature on Mars? Well, Stevie, if one of our expert panelists were here, they would tell you the average temperature ranges from 15 degrees to minus 140. That happens to be wrong. It ranges from 60 to minus 225. I converted it to Celsius in my head. Thank you. Can I see the intro? It's up on the prompter. Ah, good morning. I'm speaking to you live from the West Wing of the White House. Today, we have a very unique opportunity to take part live in an extremely historic event which, whoa, boy. How you doing, Mr. President? Who wrote this intro? I did, sir. I'm Scott Tate from NASA Public Affairs. Scott, unique means one of a kind. Something can't be very unique, nor can it be extremely historic. While we're at it, do we have to use the word live twice in the first two sentences like we just cracked the technology? Look, We're um, also broadcasting in living color, right? Sam? Yeah. He's going to make some changes. You going to clear him with me? I doubt it. Write this. Good morning. 11 months ago, a 1,200-pound spacecraft blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. 18 hours ago, is it 18 hours ago? We're on the air at noon Eastern. Yeah. 18 hours ago, it landed on the planet Mars. You, me, and 60,000 of your fellow students across the country, along with astro-scientists and engineers from the Jet Propulsion Lab in Southern California, NASA Houston, and right here at the White House, we're going to be the first to see what it sees and to chronicle the extraordinary voyage of an unmanned ship called Galileo 5. He said it right.